Okay, tonight we're going to talk about an exercise called the barbell shrug. Uh, sometimes this thing is referred to as the power shrug. And uh, what we normally do is teach this thing from the rack position, here about the middle of the thighs, slightly lower than the middle of the thighs, and this thing is a real, real good exercise for the top of the top of the pull. It builds big set of traps and it's got to be done with extremely heavy weights and the way we first do the, the movement, to teach the movement is basically to do the power clean from this position and once the weight gets up real heavy what will happen is that the weight on the bar restricts the movement so that you can't rack the clean but if you try to rack the clean out of the uh, first movement then what you find is that once the weight goes up, the movement stays correct, and it's a nice, sharp, heavy shrug. Uh, we decided to use me for the um, demonstrator for this thing since I can't do a whole lot of weight, and as a result, the video would be shorter, so we're going to try it like this. Also, remember that I'm 54 and creaky, so this clean is not going. I want to get a bunch of reviews on the on the clean here. I'm just trying to demonstrate the fact that we're going to start this thing off with a clean and then we're going to move on up to a heavier shrug after this. So, no straps at first. I'll just use the hook grip at 135. Clean sets the stage for the later move. I think I'm probably just going to do three of these since I just had shoulder surgery about seven weeks ago and it doesn't feel real good. Rack. But that explosive pull off the pins is what's got to be carried on up in weight to complete the barbell shrug. We're going to move load up to 225 now and this will actually be pretty much what the shrug looks like. If I finish it real hard, the bar will still come up high. I'm going to try to clean it, but the weight on the bar will prevent that from happening. But the snap that you will try to use for the clean is still there. Didn't move up very high, but you get the idea. Moving on up to 315, and we'll use the straps on the next set. This time we're going to use uh, some straps, and these are an old type of strap that I prefer to the ones that are uh, constructed with a loop. The ones with the, that are built with a loop uh, will continue to tighten on your hand. Uh, these lock in securely. They're just made out of pieces of nylon webbing. This is thicker than a seat belt, not quite as wide. Uh, this is probably the strap off of a, a come along or something like that, maybe off a of dolly. I don't remember. I've had these for 25 years, I think. And uh, they're extremely strong, and this is how they're put on. Start with the non dexterous hand, and that way you have the use of the dexterous hand to help you wrap the bar. So I'm going to go in like this. Take one wrap, opposite the fingers, the opposite direction of the fingers. And now the bar is locked in. Now with my dexterous hand, I use my thumb to push it underneath, and then I'm locked in. And that's about how long it ought to take. Uh, notice that I had the wraps, had the straps gathered in my fingers before I approached the bar, so that preparation has to be made. Now, the weight's heavier, the stroke will be shorter, but the explosion must be preserved. Note that I catch 
the bar and set it down. And then each rep starts on the pins, as opposed to the other types of shrugs that just hold them in the hands. Very, very good trap builders. Builders of a nice, strong top of any pull. 